This is just what you're looking for. They help you handle it. Kate will take care of you. I think I remember how to do this. <sighs> okay, hold still. Try not to breathe. Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you want it. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Even Ava would have to admit, I was a good mom to AJ. Whoa there, Clem. It's just me. What the hell do you want? I'm really glad I found you. Clementine, I know this is hard. I'm so sorry about what happened with AJ. Really, I, I am. What happened wasn't easy for any of us. Tell me he's okay. Please. He's as good as he can be. Which isn't great. Look, it's not much, but... Here. David wanted you to have that. AJ drew it just after you... It calmed him down. This... Thank you. You're welcome. Consider it a peace offering? We care about you. Just try to remember that even if it feels wrong, people can still be trying to do the right thing by you. Listen, it's dangerous out here and right now... You're... hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. Or where you're headed. Oh, I'll keep fighting. You guys gave me no other choice. It's not time for that anymore, Clem. Your focus has to be on you now. That's all you can do. For me... Staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone, or something. They're out there. I used to have Lee. You never mentioned him. He took care of me for a while. Every time I would look at AJ, I could hear him in my head, helping me, guiding me. He's still with you, you know, here. So is 
AJ. From the first time we met, right here, surrounded by absolute hell, you and AJ were a light in the darkness. Hope for a better world. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Please. It's what makes you special, Clem. It's what keeps the rest of us going. Okay, I promise. You're a tough kid. Don't change. <sighs> I should get back before anyone notices I'm gone. Remember to keep the focus on you now, Clem. And when you need a little extra support, there's an old airfield about ten or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are good people there. I'm sure they'll help you out. I'll miss having you around, Clem. You're going to be okay. Thanks, Ava. Good luck out there, Clem. That's what keeps me going. There's things I have to stay alive to do. <sighs> so, what do you think? I think I'm getting better. I owe you one. Add it to the pile. You coming? I still have to ask Lingard about AJ. <sighs> Hello, Clementine. Javier. Thought you were rotten in a cell with David. There any chance he got out too? I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. Despite all her pleasantries, she's a cruel bitch. It's none of your business. There's... There's no need for that tone. I look like someone who... who gives a shit what you're up to. Frankly, I've had enough of backstabbing to last me a lifetime. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. If you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. When AJ recovered, David was the one who stepped up. Took personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than, than he's ever been. You can be as mad as you want about how, about how things panned out. The fact of the matter is, David's been good for AJ, among others. Clem can be the judge of that. She doesn't need to be. As a doctor, I'm telling you, he's in better shape now than when I first saw him. That was because he was sick. He would have stayed sick too if I had listened to you, doctor. I stand by what I said. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about, then. You... You want to know where the boy is? What do you want? I... I just want to die. I want you to inject this into me. Hang in there. Tomorrow's another day. I, I can't. When your brother found me, he... He got me to care about everything I'd given up on. My life. Other people. Even this goddamn place. Without him around. I don't want to care anymore. Just tell me! 
me where he is! Then you won't have any reason to do it. Javi, I have to know. I've been looking for too long. I can't lose him now. Not when I'm this close. All right. I'll do it. Well, where is he? He's... He's at the McCarroll Ranch. A few miles west of here. He's really alive. Don't forget to stick around to handle the after part. I don't want to become one of those monsters. Don't forget, Joan's looking for you. And your friends. You better hope she doesn't find you. I've got it. Huh. Finally. Oh, hey. Uh, hi, Clementine. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, right back at you. You all good? Yeah, we're all set. Let's roll. Mm, good to see you. Javi, you're back. And Clementine. Thanks for the warm welcome. Just surprised to see you is all. Oh, hell. You okay? Yeah. It looks worse than it is. Don't worry about it. Kate's lying down in the other room for a bit. So you got the guns, huh? We got them, all right. One for you, and one for you. I saved this one for you. No, I've already got one. Actually, it wouldn't hurt to have another. Thanks. What took you so long? We went to see Dr. Lingard. At night? I'm kind of surprised he was sober. It's gotta be a stressful job. Looking after an entire community? Can't say I approve of the way he blows off steam, though. Actually, Lingard's dead. Oh my god. He asked me to help him end it, so I helped him. I... I had no idea things had gotten that bad for him. He was done. With all this. Why don't you go talk to Kate, okay? Okay. The sun will be rising in a few hours. Joan's people know we're holed up here, and they're gonna come looking for us. All of us. Ah, for fuck's sake. Maybe it's not as bad as we think. Fucking figures. And there's no going anywhere with those things blocking our exit. They like me, that has to help somehow. Just cause they like you, doesn't mean they're gonna like the rest of us. We're sitting ducks up here. We can't just wait around here to get shot, that's for damn sure. We have to help my dad. We've still got time to get in front of this before Joan can do anything. Yeah! Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not gonna sit around and wait for her to find us. I'm liking the cut of your jib, Javi. We can't just cut and run, not with the herd out there. Like it or not, we're fucking stuck in Richmond. Now how the fuck are we gonna put the brakes on this thing? Joan and her people are going to be at the square, right? We need to bring the fight to them. We go after Joan, our problems are solved. Great. So, how do we do that? It's a good question. Joan will probably have a full security detail with her. She'll be insulated from us and from anybody in Richmond who doesn't agree with what she's doing. The best way to get rid of Joan 
is to get David back on top. If he's in charge again, things will go back to the way they used to be. No arguments here. After we take Joan out, we're gonna need some way out of this mess. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not much of a runner. We've got a truck, a big one, that we used to use for walker defense. It's a little busted up, but it's way better than nothing. People are gonna be patrolling these streets looking for us. How far away is this truck? I'll show you. We've been expanding, pushing out further, making the safe zone even bigger. Can't promise you they've cleared all the walkers yet, but that's where the truck's parked. I could spit and hit it. We steal that thing, nothing will be able to stop us. Steal what? Hey. Jesus, Javi, is that blood on your shirt? You said it wasn't that bad. It isn't. How the hell did this happen? Oh, you're bleeding right through that bandage. You should have told me as soon as you got in. Things went a little sideways at the end. Gabe got in the way. A guard came after me and he stabbed me in the shoulder. I thought you guys were going to be careful out there. Hey, don't worry about it. It is what it is. I thought you knew what you were doing. You're still alive, aren't you? Eleanor, can you take a look at this? As long as he keeps it clean, it should be okay. Would you guys stop making such a big deal about it? It happened. It's over. Move on already. I'm just trying to make sure he's okay, Gabe. What we need to be talking about is the plan. Oh, I have a bunch of ideas. I want to be the one to go after Dad. Just give me a gun and I'll do whatever. I know the town. I know what Dad's going to be thinking. Hey, 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 slow down, would you? You're getting way ahead of yourself. Who's to say you're even coming along, kid? Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh, this is bullshit! I'm not staying behind. Gabe, take a breath. He's my dad. I'm going. It's going to be dangerous out there, and I don't want anyone else getting hurt. If we get to save dad, then getting hurt is worth it. It's worth dying for. This is more important to me than anyone else. I've got a gun, and I know how to use it. You're out of control, Gabe. First the shit at the armory, now this? How am I supposed to trust you to do anything? How are any of us? Nobody here is going to let you be a martyr, Gabe. Your life is precious. Life is precious? Then how come you shot Conrad, huh? Back in the tunnel, when he came after us, he tried to bargain with you. But you thought killing him would be easier. I saved your life too, in case you didn't remember that part. So what? You shot him. You killed him. What the fuck, Javi? Is she telling the truth? You murdered my friend? What the fuck did you do that for? You looked me in the eyes, man. You let me think the walkers had killed him. You were just fucking lying this whole time? He had a gun on them. If I hadn't killed him, he was gonna shoot Clementine and Gabe. He's telling the truth. When Conrad found out that I used to run with New Frontier, he went crazy. He would have pulled the trigger, no question. I guess we'll never know, right? Because he's not here to tell his side of things. You made sure of that. Looks like you're a pretty fucking dangerous person to be around, Avi. First you kill my friend, then you get me and my friends on Joan's shit list? I think you need to give us some space, Javi. Fuck that. I don't want to see you ever again. Well, maybe I'd be better off with Joan. At least I know she wants to stab me in the back. You get the fuck out and you stay gone, or I can't be held accountable. You feel me? We can take care of ourselves. Hell, we stick around you much longer, you'll probably kill us too. Fuck off. All of you. If you don't think I fucking agonized about it, then you can all go to hell. We better go get that truck. I'll, uh, get my stuff. Then call you on the walkie when I see things getting started in the square. Clem, 
and you come with me to get the truck. Gabe and Kate, you guys hang back here. Be ready for anything. I see what's going on. You're punishing me because I told everyone what you did, right? Screw that. I'm going to get the truck. You stay behind and keep watch. You proved your fucking point already, Gabe. Now it's time to grow up and help us. Hey, Gabe. Come on. I need you to watch my back on this one. Yeah. Okay. I guess somebody needs to be a lookout. What? Nothing. Gabe and I will be fine back here. What do you want, Javi? What's your problem, man? Your attitude back in the apartment and out here. You don't have to say anything. I get it. I screwed up. I shouldn't have said anything about Conrad. I was sick of being pushed aside. I hope you can trust me again. We'll be fine. Looks like it moves too slow for an escape. What's going on? Thanks. For what? Helping out with Gabe. He's having a rough time. Yeah, we all are. I'm just doing what I can. Let's keep looking for that truck. You got it. I guess they'll be using that for construction once they've cleared this area. Sturdy, but only room for one. There it is. Let's go. What are the chances? I'd say about 50-50. Smart ass. Graveyard shift is killing me. Oh, let me get some of that. Early risers. Come on, we gotta hurry and finish before more people wake up. What are we gonna do? We can't start the engine. Not without attracting a lot of attention. Kate, you steer. The rest of us are gonna get behind the truck and push. See if we can't get some distance between us and them. Ready.
Turns out you needed me after all, huh? I'm just saying, I know you didn't want me to come along. If I'd stayed behind, maybe we wouldn't have been able to get the truck. I'm glad you were here, okay? At least you can admit it. Yeah. Well, it turns out you're pretty useful when you actually follow directions. Don't think those guys will be able to hear the engine all the way over here. I put it in neutral. Couldn't find an ignition key in there. Guess you'll have to hotwire it. Try not to shock yourself. Shit. I'll need something to strip the wires. They left all their supplies lying around. Bet there'll be some tools out there somewhere. Just try to hurry, okay? there. Keep an eye out while I get it started, okay? I'll check on the guys in the office. Clem and I will look out for walkers. Okay. Here goes. Wire cutter should help with this. battery to the ignition. Let there be light. The square is a couple of blocks away. This is a good place to wait. Do we have enough gas? I'm not about to turn the engine off again. What now? We wait for Ava to call us on the walkie. So, nothing for us to do but sit and watch the sun come up. Well, I know we've got something important to do. I'm teaching you to play Euchre. <sighs> That's not a real thing. It's a card game. Come on, it's fun. It's nice to be driving around with a couple kids in the back seat again. Really takes you back, doesn't it? Just you and me and Gabe and Mari. You're right. This is nice. Like if I just close my eyes, we're right back where we were. All of us together. Do what I do. Try to think about the nice stuff. Not everything that happened after. <laughs> Gotcha. Oh, come on. That's not even a good rule. Still gotcha. Guess he stopped playing it cool with her. Hmm? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, Gabe's got a little crush on Clementine. He light-likes her. You get it? Well, okay, I sort of am. Okay, 
I hope it works out for them. I really do. They're good for each other. I think. Think their first official date will be target practice? Then skinning and eating a wild animal. Ugh, young love. It's so normal, you know? Like, as crazy as things get, as terrible and tragic and just plain stupid, there's nothing more wonderfully ordinary as two kids falling for each other. Not that they're there yet. But to feel something that intensely for another person, kind of like the best drug there is. Is it bad if I kind of envy them? Those early days, before you get up the courage to say exactly what's on your mind? You never get those back, do you? No. No, you don't. It's unfair, that's all I'm saying. That they're feeling what they're feeling right now, and when that sun gets a little higher, it's right back to the fight. I just wish he could have had a childhood, you know? I wish I could have given them that. Him and Mari, both. They deserved better than this. Better than what got handed to them. That's why we're doing this thing, right? So he can have a better life after everything's said and done? You're right. I know you're right. I hope you know, Javi. Having you there with me, right by my side, all this time... That's what made the difference. You're so sure of what you're doing all this for. You didn't run away. You could have. But you didn't. I'm here so I can set an example for people. For Gabe especially. Someone to be proud of. Someone who sticks around. I get it. There's no graceful way to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. I know we've had moments, you and I. And they're always a little hot and a little confusing and maybe some of them haven't meant anything at all. But before whatever happens tomorrow happens, I need you to know whatever this thing is between us, I want to give it a chance. And I know the fact that David is back in our lives now makes this whole thing a little more complicated. But do you feel the same way? I'd really like to know before things get crazy. We might not get another chance. <laughs> no pressure or anything, all right? Well, maybe I should have stayed quiet. Let's go for it. We gotta try, right? Oh my god, really? Really. So are we gonna... Okay. Yeah. Shit. We're doing this. You do realize we're gonna have to have a weird conversation with David, right? It's the right way to play this. He already got the sense I was pulling away. I just want to be able to tell him, in person. It'll feel better that way. That would be the stand-up thing to do in this situation. Can I just say how lame doing the stand-up thing is, though? Oh, it's super lame. Javi, it's an execution over here. She's planning to hang David in front of the whole crowd. You've got to get over here, now. Don't bring the truck. If they see it, they'll kill him right away. If you can just get into the square... Shit. We gotta get over there. Now! I'm going to hang back here, with the truck. Keep the walkie close by. We'll tell you as soon as we've got David. Good luck. Anything else from Ava? Nope. And it sounds like a crowd out there. It sounded like Ava got cut off by something. Or somebody. Wish we had some idea of what we're heading into.
Like, is the whole plan shot? Or did she just have a little setback? I hate not knowing. We can't get distracted. I don't know what happened on the other side, but it doesn't change what we have to do. I just wish we had a little more information, that's all. We're not gonna know what went wrong until we actually do this thing. So, let's do it already. You ready? Ready as I'm gonna be. Glad to hear it. can't wait for the others, can we? For years now, Richmond has been governed by one simple principle. Strong council, strong community. But, unfortunately, the actions of one of the members of that council, our security expert, David Garcia, have put us all She's in- She's lying to all of you! I'm sorry to have to show you this. Truly, I am. But you all need to see. Just look what he's done. He murdered these men in cold blood. I saw him murder Lonnie with my own eyes. Some of the best men I ever knew cut down in their prime. Is this who we want in charge? Someone this reckless. This cruel? Not if I have anything to do with it. I can't believe this is really happening. She's gonna kill him. She can't do this to him. He's kept him safe. Try to keep your cool. Joan's smart. But we're smarter. We just have to be careful. We can't screw this up, Javi. Javier! I heard you were planning to crash our little party. Why did you come on up here? Show your face to everyone. I'm sure these people would like to hear what you have to say. Happy to. Been waiting for this all day. Then I'll try not to disappoint you. We both know you killed Dr. Lingard. Why, Harvey? Why would you do that to us? The only surgeon in a hundred mile radius, but you didn't care about that. You thought he deserved to die. Lingard saw what was happening in Richmond, what you were trying to do, and he didn't want any part of it. He asked me to spare him the sight of all this. You ask me, he's better off. Sorry if I don't take your word for it. Too bad you killed the only man who could back up your story. I had a very interesting conversation with your friend Eleanor last night. She was the one who alerted us to David's plot against Lingard. Isn't that right, Eleanor? We did. She said you came here because you wanted to save your brother. Admirable, almost. Don't know how you thought you were going to pull it off. Considering it's all of us against the three of you. But I guess hope springs eternal. Eleanor doesn't know what she's talking about. She knew an awful lot of details about how you were going to pull it off. She was happy to share. Especially after I promised her she could stay in Richmond. I can't believe Eleanor did that to us. Believe it. Here in Richmond, People who put themselves before the group don't last long. Bring them out. Get away from me. You're making a mistake. Ava! Oh no. They had them this whole time. David wanted to tear this whole place down. He told his people where to find our gun supply, and sure enough, they picked us clean. You really thought you could ride into town and stage a coup? With our own damn weapons? Something like that? I can't just let it go. You've put me in a no-win situation here. So I'm going to do the same thing to you. Both of them deserve to die for their crimes. However, 
Harvey, I'll let you spare one of them. Just one. No! Hell no! Joan! Don't! Not after what they tried to do. You may be guilty of bringing them into this, but they chose to go along with it. If you're gonna punish anyone, it should be me, not them. So ready to sacrifice yourself for others. Don't worry, Javi. I'm not through with you yet. Joan, are you sure about this? We never agreed to killing all these people. It's really up to Javi, isn't it? All eyes are on you. Maybe this will help you make up your mind. Boys? <gasps> Come on, Javi. Who's it gonna be? Your friend? Or your brother's lieutenant? Oh, come on! This is fucking stupid! You can't be serious. God damn you, Jill. Do the right thing, Javi. How could you do this? Let Ava live. She's always been loyal. Javi! No! Well, there's the Javi I know. Backstabbing, double-crossing, no-good, dirty fucking murder! Such language. But I admire the sacrifice you're making here, Javi. Shoot her. Wait! I said don't shoot Ava! You did, but there's something else you need to understand. Betrayal. Joan, think about what you're doing. Ava's one of us. You can't fucking do this. This is fucked. I can do anything I want. You brought this on yourself. Do it. You can't... Shot her. God damn it. Now, David, it's your turn. I can't believe this. This isn't how we do things. This is madness. Stop her, Clint. Is this the process you trusted? No! Think about this, Javi. You know what's gonna happen here. You ready for that? We don't murder in Richmond. We exile. That's how we've always done things. How about you take David and the rest of your people and just get the hell out? Go far away from Richmond, and then whatever you do is up to you. I'm sure the herd outside would like that. She thinks she's sending us out there to die. She's counting on it. Everybody, put your guns away! We're gonna handle this peacefully. Don't listen to them, Javi! They're fucking butchers! All of them! Shoot that bitch! Take her out! She deserves it! If you don't do it, I fucking will! Go to hell, Joan! Again! Things right. Okay. Dad needs us. We gotta get out there. He needs you, not me. Go on. Thanks. Try and cover you. Ah. Ah. 
own shooter. Shoot. Get down! I hear gunfire! What the hell is going on over there? Are you guys okay? Do you need a pickup? Or do you have things under control? Stay away from the square! It's too risky! We'll come to you! I... I can't hear you! It's too loud! Oh, God! Javi, you've got to get over there before...